Hi, and welcome to our tutorial on iGoogle, Google's answer to customizing your Google home page. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you and show you some of the different features that Google's given you to enable you to customize the way that you search and look at Google. Um, most of us are used to seeing Google in this format, where we have the Google search bar, and we have the ability to do some basic searching. But with iGoogle, Google allows us to add different content to this page and we can customize that according to our interests or our hobbies. Let's show you how this is done. Up in the top right corner of the screen you'll see that you have the ability to log in using your Google account. Now I'm already signed in, but if I want to switch from classic Google to my iGoogle page, you can see that there's a link for iGoogle up in the top right hand corner of my screen. If this is the first time you log, you're log, you logging into the iGoogle page, you'll actually be prompted to put in some of your personal favorites and to provide a little bit of information about yourself, such as information about your uh, zip code so that Google could customize things like the weather and different information to your specific area. Since I've already done that, I'm just going to go through and show you what happens after you've set up your Google page. Um, the first thing that you'll see here across the top of my screen is that I have a theme set up. This theme is called Dark Tech, and uh, I can go through and change that if I want. What that does is it changes the color scheme of the of the layout of the iGoogle page. Let's go ahead and change it just so you can see how that's to be done. If I got tired of this one or wanted something else, you can see in the lower right corner of that banner area that there's a link that says Change Theme. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And you can search through a lot of different types of themes. You have some preset ones that Google's kind of advertising, some of their newer ones, or some maybe topical or timely ones. And you can go through and look for all different kinds of themes based just by searching if you want to search. Now, I personally am going to go with this one for Peanuts, the comic strip. Um, and I just click Add, Add It Now, and then you can see that my theme has changed. I'm going to close this window so that I go back just to my normal iGoogle page. You can see that all of my color scheme has changed now and my banner has changed to reflect the change that I wanted to have a new theme. Now as we look over our page, you can see that there's a lot of um, small rectangles or squares that, are, that contain different pieces of information. These are all um, information that I've added myself to the Google page just by doing some searching for what Google likes to call gadgets. And you can add as many different gadgets as you want. The only thing that happens is your page grows um, vertically down the page as you add new gadgets. You can also create new pages for gadgets if you want. So if you wanted to have multiple pages instead of just one long page, you can do that as well. Let's show you how we go through and add some gadgets. You probably find that you already have some gadgets just by, that, uh, just by using that personal information that you already submitted to Google. You probably already have the weather and maybe a couple others like a clock or some different things. Well, I want to add some new stuff. So I'm going to go up to the banner where I see a link that says Add Stuff. As I click on that link, you'll see that there are lists of different categories of gadgets that I can add to my page. I can do this either by searching through the categories. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add, oh, maybe a stock ticker to mine. So I'm going to click on Finance, and I'm going to look through maybe some of the more popular ones. I don't see anything specific to Finance right now that I'm looking for, so maybe I'm just going to come up here and put, type in and do a search for a gadget for stock quotes. Just because I want to keep track of that. You can see I can get all different kinds of things here. If I find one that I like, I'll just click the Add It Now button. And again, you can search through the categories or you can do uh, use the little search box on the top right corner to search for um, to search for a specific gadget that you want. So after you've done that, let's go back to the Google, the iGoogle homepage and you'll see that that new gadget that, that I've just added is now found in the top column of my iGoogle homepage. If I want to keep this here, I can leave it alone. If I want to move it, I can just come up to the bar across the top of the gadget, use my left mouse button, and then I can click and drag. You can see I can move these gadgets around as I want to. If I want to change the content of the gadget, there's a little drop-down menu inside the top right corner of the gadget. and You can see I can come in and edit the settings. Maybe I want to put in the specific stock quotes that I'm looking for, or whatever I'm looking for. I can save that, or whatever I want to do. If I decide that I no longer want this, you can see in that drop-down menu again that I can delete this gadget. Or I could share it or do a lot of different things with it. You decide. I'm going to delete it for right now. 
and you can see I'm not tied into any of those gadgets. Now some gadgets allow you to use some of your other Google tools, like you can see we've got our Google Calendar tied in here. We've also got Gmail tied in, so you can see your email and your online calendar at the same time from the Google page. What if I wanted to add something else to my Google page? For example, you'll notice here that there's a link for the UEN teacher feature. So maybe I want to get news feeds from a specific website. Well, let's go back to get stuff or add stuff, and I'll show you how you can do this. So as I scroll down this page, you'll notice on the left-hand side, there's a link that says Add Feed or Gadget. So if I type in the web address for a website that I want to keep track of, as long as it has a news feed or an RSS feed, you can do a search on it, and if it has a feed, you can add that to your page. Let's go back to the iGoogle homepage and show you what that looks like. So by typing in UEN, now you can see I have the UEN News gadget where some headlines from the UEN homepage will now show up on my page. And again, I can drag that down if I want to move that below uh, other gadgets on my page. So that's a really easy way for me to go through and create the look and feel that I want from my iGoogle page. If we look down the left hand side of my screen, you'll notice a couple other features that I want to mention to you. I also have the, these different tabs where I can create multiple tabs. So if I want one long page, I just leave it alone. If I want several smaller pages or themed tabs, I can add different tabs to my page. And then notice, again, you can share these tabs with other people. Another neat feature in iGoogle is the ability to chat. So right on the left hand side of the screen, you'll notice that I can go in and if I have contacts from my Gmail account, I could actually go in and chat with folks right here without actually having to go into Gmail. A really nice new feature that they've added to iGoogle. One last thing that I wanted to talk about before we end this tutorial is what if you want to create your own gadget? So you maybe want to make a countdown or you want to put up some of your own pictures onto this page. What are some of the different things that you can do? Well, let's go back to add stuff and we'll show you the last little feature here. Going down the right side, you'll notice that you can create your own gadget. So if you wanted to create a nice little uh, gadget that you wanted to share with folks, you can do that here. I'll show you how easy that is. Simply click on the Try It Now, and you can see some of the different choices that you have. Lots of fun, um, and a really kind of neat way for you to customize your iGoogle page with a gadget of your own. As soon as you create the gadget, then you can share it or you can customize it to whatever uh, specifics you're looking for. Well, there's a nice little overview of the iGoogle page. Hopefully you've seen some new things and you've, you can have a lot of fun customizing Google to show a little bit more of your personality and your interests. Thanks for watching.